Hey guys, Dale Walker at Whole Shop Performance. It's July 1st, I think, uh, 2017. There's my wall of shame from... I'll give you a little tour real quick before I talk about bikes. 1975 when I was a punk kid. And all my national records, about 50 of them. And then all the way down through 2006. And here's some bikes you might recognize. There's Igor. That was tested by Don Canet last year at Cycle World. Here's Frank and Zuki, my 80s era GS Superbike. Half Bandit. Things in Monster. Uh, that was back in 05 or 04. Cycle World. Here's my Pro Mod bike. I think I'm going to put a small rear tire on it, take the wheelie bars off and take the auto trans out, out of it and go out and play at 61 years old. I want to go fast again. And magazine articles and such. National number one trophies, old leathers. My office area, my wife's area. This is where we do our shipping. And upstairs we have a mezzanine, tons of inventory up there and all the pieces to make exhaust. <clears throat> Here's my 17 SV650 I've been working on, got a lot of stuff done for that. Hopefully get that on a, in a test someday. So, this video is really going to be about the new Versys that I bought a few months ago and I just started on it. It's a 16, it's got 150 miles on it. I'm going to start on a slip-on next week. But what I have started on is I can't stand the, oh, I don't want to call them pro taper, but they're, because they're not, factory Kawasaki inch and an eighth bars on the bike. I'm, a lot of guys like them, I don't like them. They're, uh, they're a little wide, and the bend is uh, not much sweep at all. Uh, for me, they hurt my right wrist holding the throttle on. They're just uncomfortable. I know, guys put bar risers on them, but that doesn't take care of the measurements and getting them closer to you with a better sweep to take the load off your wrist. So these are my whole shot comfort touring bars that I already designed that I put on the V-Strom and a few other bikes, some of the bandits and stuff. And uh, anyway, I picked up some um, rocks risers, little shims, ground the little tip off. This is just to test fit these, see if they would fit. And voila, everything just reaches. And boy, do they feel nice. They got a really nice sweep. They're about an inch and a inch and a quarter, probably taller. I took some pictures uh, comparing the bars, but they're much closer to you, and you see the sweep of the bar instead of so straight is angled where it's just a very natural. I worked on these bars about six months prior. But man, they're freaking nice on this thing. I'm going to go test ride it tomorrow for the first time up in the Sierras. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And then, um, yes, yeah, so I'll be working on that. I'm going to make my own shims that will fit perfect and have the full width of the wide triple upper clamp. Because these are almost an inch and 5 sixteenths wide. And what's in there is a little under one inch. But they have enough clamping for us to hold the bars good enough for now. So, yeah, they're bitching. So then I'm going to uh, test out the V-Stream. I just thought the V-Stream screen looked about the very nicest. And they've always been sturdy. I've used those on a few other bikes. So this is the middle or the medium V-Stream light tint turning screen. If I really like this one, because the stock screen kind of sucks. It's buffeting and I don't know, I didn't like it. <clears throat> so if this one works good, I'll probably offer this one. And then here's the... Uh, Cox radiator guard I just test fit. He wasn't sure if that would fit it. Um, one for one of the other Kawasaki's. I think it's maybe the Z1000 or something. So same one. So this is the titanium one. This is titanium color. That's the one I'll stock. And then I thought the stock grips were like a rock. They hurt your hands. These are my Pro Gel grips that I carry. These are my favorite grip of all time. They're not real a lot bigger in diameter only slightly but man they're comfy and they're not too squishy they're really nice I use these on everything I I ride so there they are and you have to use some bar end weights because the Kawasaki bars have the nut welded in them so these are just some little cheaper aluminum ones that I sell I'm going to see what it does with those but you could always put uh, 
throttle meisters in my bars or any heavier bar end weight that fits 7 8 bars. Now my bars don't think because they're 7 8 that they're weak. I go a 095 wall thickness. They're really strong. Matter of fact, you have to drill out or dremel out the inside of the bar slightly to fit normal bar ends in my bars. But I did that on purpose for because the extra height and sweep to add a lot more rigidity than a stock 7 8 handle bar. So um, the bars work great. They're, they're fantastic. So anyway, this is just a preview. I'll be working on this stuff. I'm definitely going to come out with that handlebar kit. Probably take me another month or so because I'll have to machine up special shims and then get those made. But uh, test ride tomorrow. All right, got any questions, go ahead and ask me below or call me at the shop. 775-463-5394. And have a happy 4th. Thanks. Also, wholeshot.com.